Three of the top 20 beaches in the United States are in Pinellas County. And it just so happens to be that I'm standing in the sugary white sand on one of them. I'm Cassidy, and today SBN is in St. Petersburg. Good morning, Southwest. Today is Thursday, January 27th, and we're bringing you loads of information on St. Petersburg. In fact, St. Pete set a world record for having the most consecutive days of sunshine in 1967. Ever since then, it's been known as Sunshine City. Today, we'll learn how the BP oil disaster impacted our state, take a tour at the Pier Aquarium, and learn how a regular person like me or you can be transformed into an awesome painter. But up first, let's go over to Savannah with our campus news. Thanks, Casty. With the waves are crashing and the sun is shining, there are still news to be told. Starting with the Southwest athletes, the boys basketball game is at Rochelle School of the Arts starting at 6 p.m. Math counts is every Wednesday and Friday in I-3 from 4 to 5.30. For the more musically inclined, all county band auditions are at Lakeland Highlands Middle School on the 27th at 5 o'clock. Also, the course annual Boulevard at AMF Lanes is on the 29th, starting at 2 p.m. Now, I gotta head back to the beach when you head back to Cassidy. Savannah Taylor, SBN News. Thanks, Savannah. The oil spill in the Gulf happened in late April of 2010. Now that the leak is capped, this beach community seems to be getting back on track. Let's go to McKenna with more on this. Have you ever been punished for something that has nothing to do with you? The beaches along Florida's coastline can relate. It's no secret that tourism in Florida is a huge deal. It brings in $65 billion collectively, but this all depends on our remarkable beaches. Just three weeks after news of the oil spill hit, reservations along the coastline went down 15% more than three weeks before the oil spill. Not only hotels, but local businesses are feeling the effects of this disaster as well. So it kind of hurt some of the business here in the pier. Even though the fishing industry suffered the greatest loss, retail shops and restaurants also felt the pinch. Other stores have had lower business like income coming in. Many areas around the coast agree that the media has sensationalized the oil spill. The oil spill never really reached over towards this part of the Gulf, which a lot of people thought it did. Um, it didn't quite affect us as much because we're still going as we normally would. But back on campus, how has the oil spill affected the travel plans of Southwest students? No, the oil spill has not affected our plans. We planned to go to the beach, but due to the oil spill, we had to reschedule. The oil spill didn't affect our family plans this year. So it hasn't impacted me or my family. The beach is fine, so we're going for spring break. One message is clear, though. The beaches are open for business. Our waters are perfectly fine without the oil, and um, they shouldn't be afraid to come and visit just because of that oil spill. With all of the improvements and progression being made every day, the rough seas that we are going through now may just turn into smooth sailing. McKenna Lewis, SBN News. Thanks for the report, McKenna. The economy seems to be the biggest topic of conversation at the dinner table these days. In the midst of these tough times, most families still find ways to get out and have some fun. Believe it or not, there's an awesome aquarium right here in St. Pete. The St. Pete Pier Aquarium is a marine educational center that's fun for the family and affordable too. Let's step inside where Rachel and Hillary have more on this. Look at our surroundings. Notice anything different? Wait, are we in a Godfather movie? Godfather movie? Yeah, I mean, it looks like we're swimming with the fishes. Not exactly, Hillary, but we are with the fishes at the Pier Aquarium in St. Petersburg. For more than 21 years, the Pier Aquarium has offered a unique setting providing ocean and aquatic information, stimulation, and personal experiences to students, educators, residents, and visitors 364 days a year. 
The mission of the Pier Aquarium is to help guests understand the fragile nature of our local marine environment. That's right, Hillary, and nothing gets guests closer than to have the opportunity to feed a baby shark and explore the touch tank. Hey, little guy, I shall call you Squishy and you should be mine. You're so cute. You're so cute, little Squishy. The Pier Aquarium is very affordable. Admission is $5 for adults, $4 for children, and kids 6 and under are free. It's a fun and educational destination for the entire family. I sure have enjoyed my visit here to the Pier Aquarium. As have I, Rachel, Hillary McLeod, and Rachel Watson. SBA News. Thanks ladies, it sure does sound like fun. St. Petersburg is full of famous icons such as Salvador Dali. But if you can't paint like Dali, Picasso, or Monet, you can still be transformed into a world-class painter. Painting with a twist uses art for entertainment. Our very own Rebecca Castor went and checked it out and found her inner artist. I may not be the next Vincent Van Gogh, but the artist that this paint place can teach you how to create a painting, you'll be glad to call your own. Here at Painting with a Twist, local artists come in to teach you how to create a masterpiece. My husband and I moved here about a year and a half ago and uh, I had done the classes in New Orleans and loved it and said, hey, we're moving to St. Pete. I think it'd be a great business here. Painting with a Twist is a wonderful painting experience. This is not your average art class. This is art entertainment. And at the end of the day, you'll go home with a one-of-a-kind creation and hopefully a newfound talent you'll want to explore. We provide all your painting supplies, that's your paint, your brushes, your canvas, easels, everything you need to complete a painting and we also have a local artist that gives the instruction. Step by step, um, just take everything in chewable chunks, just break the painting down into smaller steps. When they see the full thing, oftentimes they'll be, you know, overwhelmed. And when you break it down to each individual element and each step, layer by layer, um, they're often able to accomplish something that they never thought they could. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I've been four times and the artists are awesome. And My favorite part about teaching the class is seeing uh, students who do work that they didn't think they could do before they came in. And it's just a great experience. Recommend it for everyone. Two hour classes are $35 and three hour classes are $45. Come to Painting with a Twist and experience your inner artist and go home with an incredible painting. I'm super proud of mine. Rebecca for SVN News. Thanks Rebecca and thank you Southwest for tuning in with us in Sunshine City, St. Petersburg. Until next time. Bye! bye.